script that we are going to go ahead uh, VB script ADODB connection ADODB connection is again a class it's a class used or available with Windows to connect to the database right ADODB is a Microsoft class to connect to the database this is what the ODBC connector uses to connect to the database using ADODB connection using ADODB dot connection class we establish connection that is the first thing without connection we don't know which database we need to manage for connection we know if you have a session name directly you can give the session name open the connection otherwise you need to know the provider and then you need to know what is the driver you need to use next once you have this connection established then adodb dot record set record set is another class which is available this class will return the query information that you pass and it will hold those query information in a in a method that you can use to retrieve that information from that query so this is also you can use adodb dot record set so adodb dot connection is one of the class adodb dot record set uses the above connection to retrieve the class to retrieve the queries result these two we use in our adodb let me go back explain this in a real estate first i declare because we want to treat it as an object so dim i call it as connection i call it as record set so record set rs i will put now for connection now set conn equals create object create object is the method used to create an object using which class you want to create an object adodb dot connection is my class name if my class name is wrong then automatically if i use con dot intellisense will not work con dot will not work in case my connection session is wrong for example i'll make a mistake here i am not put say dot i use adodb if i use con dot you can see that there is no intellisense available now so i'm so it is now not refreshed or i don't know adodb yeah now if you see i made a mistake adodb without dot if i use con dot you can see intellisense is not available the reason here is adodb dot connection is the right class name if i use the right class name if I, then i apply dot i get all the methods of that object available for me to use in this object what i want to use is i like to open a connection so open my connection name i know that my connection name is my session this is my dsn connection name so connection open my session so now connection is open under object co double n if i try to go through debug viewer if i put a breakpoint and see this connection will open that database we have established this database connection through odbc connector of odbc connector is available under administrative tools using control panel now once i open the connection my next job is i need to apply a query so i create a, another object this object will now use record set adodb dot record set 
record set is another class available these two class names you need to remember there is help available on this but you need to remember that the class we need to use if this class is right then you can see the rs dot you can see all those information now this rs i have opened as a record set this record set rs object doesn't have anything now what i like to do is rs dot open what i want to open i need now queries select star from orders all orders i am retrieving from table orders using connection this connection object is very important here without this connection it cannot manage the retrieve that information because it doesn't know from where orders table is present from where i need to retrieve which database i need to retrieve now we are saying that using con co double n as my connection parameter now rs is holding entire records of that particular operation let me go through here i'll put a message box hi let me apply a breakpoint let us understand how this objects are managed so i applied breakpoint at line number 3 i run the script now i run the script now i click on okay it waits now at line number 3 during this time we use the debug viewer understand how each object is managed now he is waiting connection is open i go to variables you can see a connection object and this connection object this is what it has information so connection string is nothing because we have not yet open that connection string we are yet to execute line number 3 it's a dummy object we created all the since we have used with this class adodb dot connection co double n object inherited all the information of adodb dot connection class all the information of the connection class are now passed on to the connection object and these are all the informations available for you so in this i have now see now these are all the informations available now i click on f11 session gets opened i open the connection again now you can see connection string provider this is my provider and this provider data source is my session default database you can see the database what where we have connected and then you can this provider is ms-ql.1 version 2.8 so i have now opened that database into the connection object now database is available under connection now i am executing rs rs is declared so it is empty you can see it is empty i am going to execute now rs is again another object it is a record set object you can see now right hand side type record set i am not set any value to orders rs now record set you can see now the information default properties and methods of that of class adodb dot record set is inherited into rs object by default now i select f11 now rs has opened the file using the connection you can now see the informations that are available here it has now collected but end of file is false because i am going to use end of file as my method there are now records select sources select star from orders the information is now available inside now i need to get inside this so when i i stop my run now the next understanding that we need to have is 
for example i try to open something which i can make you to understand let us take this data table itself as my rs object now rs object has columns order number is one column maybe another column maybe like customer name third column maybe x y z so there may be n number of columns in each of this order rs so i have column one column two three four five six seven n number of columns might be there and inside this column i might have values so order number one two three four and customer name maybe whatever we have given in the information during recording so this is my column name so now i have multiple columns under multiple columns multiple rows that is how the rs is now available now i want to retrieve all the rows for example if i want to retrieve all the rows then i need to go with do while or do until initially we have seen do while so i'll go with do until rs dot end of file till i reach end of file i'll be in the loop I like to be in the loop till I reach end of file. Now we covered the rows, rows of RS. Next is I want to retrieve column values. If I retrieve column values, you may not have seen this for each. I say record in RS dot fields. Fields is a property now. From fields for each of the field, I like to retrieve the order so now record is another object holding rs fields so each field i'll go through and it has set of properties and i can retrieve that properties now let me again put a message box here understand before i move on to next step so now i applied a breakpoint i run the script understanding each and every line is important so now i am executing the script it is fine connection we just seen now our job is after this do until rs uif so rs is not true so he is going inside now i have one more object i am creating that is called record now you see the record object is created it is a field object because in rs field so it is a field object once i say field now you can see what is inside this is my property name this is my value of the property left hand side is my property name right hand side is my value some people call it as an attribute some people call it as a property some people call it as name whichever they feel appropriate right properties name value pair they may also use the name value pair now you can see now the field name is available under name column and the value of that name column is available under value so i am now having name as my column where it will give me the field name and column value of that row my i am in first row now the value of that row is 57 for order number if i try to execute f11 it goes to the next field high is empty that is fine i am going to the now for each so each of the field i will go through now now name is customer name you notice now name is customer name value now that is holding on customer name is name so like this it will now iterate through so it will go through all the fields after all the fields i am coming back i stopped my run after all the field i am now not move this pointer the pointer of rs i need to move so after my each i need to move rs dot move next next record you move to and you continue until end of file 
now message box before I put a message box I now put var1 equals record dot or name property then var2 equals record dot value property because it is a field object and that field object now I am now retrieving name and the value pair message box var1 or I'll use print print var1 concatenate equals name value pair var2 now I run the script you see how it works I am again having a breakpoint so I remove this global settings I make it as run only one row one iteration because I just entered in global sheet some values still I am in 1.5 seconds delay so I'll use breakpoint for until we complete our understanding so AD ODB connection that is fine this is clear RS is clear we have created RS record set as an object and that record set object now doing the query and the entire query information is available now with RS under this RS I am going to use fields is the method so you can see this fields I won't know I cannot go inside the fields that is my drawback but I know the fields is the object holding all the information then I click on le next F11 now I know record object is created under this record object this is one row value of that record that information one field of that row is holding now F11 where one is assigned with order number where two is assigned with value print R1 I go to next so until I get all I concatenate over here right now I am applying I got this information now and I am collecting all those information into a variable I am printing it now I go to the next record you can see now RS going to the next record after I execute now RS pointer is holding on to the next record right so he is now moving on to the next record record count is minus one salt state status synchronized okay cursor location is also previously also it is to let us see now f11 now record is newly set again now order number 58 you can see name is the property departure date flight number tickets ordered class 3 then agent name John now we have sent signature no so I now finish that record I go to the next record now I move to the next record let me see whether the cursor position is moving to the next line no cursor location is still same it doesn't exactly give me where which order I am in So, only thing I have to go with the fields and fields will tell me which record I am in. This is the way I need ADODB connection and record set of ADODB. So, I now stop here. This is the way ADODB is managed. Right? This is VB script. I will put it under VB script. AD ODB connection record set and there are two classes that are important one is record set class another is connection class record set class will not work without a connection class so this is about AD ODBC connection.